Hello friends, welcome again. This is the 13th session in the SQL playlist and a very, very important session. In this, I will talk about over and partition by clause. Right now, you might not understand this, but let me take a example and then let's build the knowledge of that. So I, first of all, will create a table with the name employee. There are few columns, first name, last name, age, salary, location, all of this very, very basic table and some insert commands and names have kept mostly, uh, I mean, cricket players name. So for example, Shane Vaughan, 30 years old, 20,000 is the salary lives in Bangalore, just a random example. So we will try to create this table, run this insert statements and then have this data. In the previous sessions, I have shown you Gurum ID where we have done all of our work but in this session we won't be using it the reason being whatever i want to demonstrate will not work there because the functionality that i'll be showing works on newer versions of mysql but not on the old ones that ide you was using the older version so what i will use is i will use one compiler which is again an online one and you can just take this link and paste it in the browser. For example, you can see this. Right. And you can say one compiler dot MySQL and directly it will show all of this. You can remove this because you want to start from scratch. OK, let me see if it is recording just to see. Yeah, all good. Now let me take the inserts and the create table command and run this okay and i will say run so you can see that it has run successfully and we are even seeing your program did not output anything because we have no select statement that's fine totally fine now the setup is all done and let's say our problem statement is that I want to find out that how many employees work in Bangalore and what is their average salary. So I want to find out how many people are from each location. That means from Bangalore, how many people? From Hyderabad, how many people? From Pune, how many people? So on. And average salary at each location this is what i want that means the result i want is something like bangalore and uh, the number of uh, people that work are let's say three because if you see this data three people work for bank in bangalore and the average salary is let's say 16,666. how i'm saying because 10,000 is of this employee 20,000 plus Again, 20,000. Three employees are there. Total salary is 50,000. 50,000 divided by three is 16,666. Similarly, I want for Hyderabad and Pune. This is what I want. So there will be three output rows. One is for Pune, one is for Bangalore, and other one is for Hyderabad. I hope this should be clear. I want these results. You will say, okay, there is no big deal about it. I can write a query something like, you can write something like select select location comma location comma count of location comma average salary from employee from employee group by location because you want to group by location and do this aggregation of count in each location and average of salary in each location. And this would work perfectly fine. Let us see. So I would place it here and run this. It says in Bangalore, the uh, let me copy this actually because the output terminal is not that great here. Let me copy and this is the output it shows. 
I will put a tab. This is how it is showing us the results. Right, which totally makes sense and this is what we wanted. We could have given some alias names to this, but that's fine for now. So we can give anyways. So what we can say, uh, count location as uh, total and average says yes, average. Let's see. If we do this, it will give alias names and that will even look better. So good, this is fine and you will say no big deal about it. I was already aware of it. Fine. Now what if problem statement slightly changes? And what we want is, we want to have the first name, last name before it. That means problem, I mean what we are looking something like is, I'll just show, do not worry what I'm doing, but I want to show the results I want. From employees. Okay, I'll tell you what results I'm looking at. So I will want something like, so first of all, let me remove this. So I mean to say, I want few aggregated columns, which are that the count and the average and few non aggregated columns like first name and last name. This is what I am looking at. I want this results and when we take for this Hyderabad will be something like this. Why I am doing this hard work is to give you clarity that okay what exactly is the result I am looking at and then we have towards the end Pune. So let's remove this. This is the result I want. How do I get it? You might say, okay, I can use the same group by. Okay, let us try doing that. Let me take my previous query. And if I try just adding first name, comma, last name, like this, will it work? No, it won't. Because you remember that we are trying to use first name and last name, but it's not a part of aggregation. If it is there in, I mean, group by, it would have taken, otherwise it won't take. You know that already. So we cannot combine it like this. It will definitely throw an error. So we can try running and it will say it won't work. Select list is not in group by clause and contains non-aggregated column. You can check that out. So that means it's not going to work out for sure. Then what is the solution to this problem? How to rectify this? What can we do? So what we can do is we could try achieving it. We can try achieving it using a join, which is not the best approach, but let me show you how you can get it using a join. Let us see what you can say. Uh, so you have this right uh, where is that this one okay let me take it directly and this will become my sub query right and whatever result comes from this let me store into a table a temporary table let's say and the name that I will give is let's say I will say temp table temp table what I finally want, let's see, I want first name, last name, location, and then uh, a total count, total count, comma, average salary. This is what I want, right? Okay. From which table you want? From employee. From employee, we will definitely get first name, last name, and location. But the total count and average salary we will get from the temporary table, the table this, that we will have. 
so we need to join this employee with temp table join temp table right so instead of doing this we can just copy this entire thing and put it here so we are joining employee table with this temporary table which has this aggregated columns what condition do we have to place for join on on what condition employee dot location equal to temp table dot location because the location column is the one which is common among the two now if i try running this will this work first of all we need to give alias name as total count and then we have to say as average salary like this now if i run this will it work actually everything is fine apart from one thing that is this location column which we are selecting it belongs to employee table also and it is a part of temporary table also you can see this so system will get confused that from which table i should be picking this and this becomes ambiguity so here we have to manually resolve this ambiguity but let me show you that this will say there is an ambiguity here i'm just writing it here and then running this and it says column location in the field list is ambiguous you can see this so you got to know that everything is fine but there is just one issue how do we resolve we can give a table name explicitly saying employee dot last name oh, sorry employee dot location okay i'm just giving space so that it's better readable i hope this is clear now let me try running this this will work 100% without any doubts and you can see the result whatever we wanted we said we need the first name last name and then location of course the indentation here is not good do not worry this is a not the id we will use forever right but just to understand this example so first name last name location and how many people are there at that location and the average salary of people at that location so basically whatever we wished we are getting here i mean let me copy the result and show you is it the same what we wanted or not we wanted this and we what we got is this is it the same or not yes this is the same we can check it out so we have achieved it using the join but is there any other easier way to do that yes there is a way using the over and partition by clause we can use over partition by right partition by to achieve this easily without much efforts joins and all look complicated and it's not that efficient so the easier way to do it is using this partition by and over clause this works like a syntactic sugar that means you are able to achieve it easily with minimum syntax how do we do it so what we can say is we can say select first name comma last name comma location i have given all the non aggregated columns till now okay now i have to give the aggregations what i want count on location you have to give over keyword over and then just like we were doing group by on what kind of thing we have to do grouping or on which column we have to do grouping on location right so instead of group by we have to say partition by partition by location now the benefit of using partition by is that you are able to use the non aggregated columns also like this but with group by were you able to use no you were not so you can say count of location over partition by location so how it internally works is first it 
partitions the data based on location. Let's say Bangalore's data is partitioned, Hyderabad is in one partition, and Pune is in one partition. After that, it will count for it. Now, after that, if we want one more aggregation, we can say average of salary over, and then again, same way, partition by location. Quite easy, quite logical, and very intuitive. And we give it, let's say, some alias name as, uh, I would say, total as average, any name that whatever we want. And then from employee. Now you tell me whether this looks good or this looks good. Of course, the second part. And it looks very logical, very intuitive and a very good syntactic sugar to get the same results achieved easily. Let me try running it and showing you. So this ID is a bit clumsy, of course, to use, but that's fine. I have used this and let me try running. And you can see I get exactly the same results. You can check it out. But which one is a better way of doing? Joins or this one? Of course, this one, because if I show this query to someone, it becomes easy for them to relate what's happening. But if I give this, then of course, they have to try understanding what's happening. So this is how we can use a combination of over and partition by to club the non-aggregated columns, which are these three, along with the aggregated columns, which are these two, easily. Because directly group by does not work. This is a very, very important thing, even from a SQL interview perspective, make sure you understand this well. And I believe this session would have given you fair enough idea of this. In the next sessions, we will do a continuation on this and we will talk about things like rank, dense rank and all of, all of that stuff. So with this, let me end the session. Please do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on upcoming videos. And also do like the video if you feel that I mean, you have understood from it and if you feel the content is good. With this, let me end the session. Thanks for listening.